Hi there, this is going to be a really quick update video for my Lit Projective Dissolve Shader. It's been a while since I updated this, but I recently did. It's been updated everywhere that it's available, and it will also, uh, pretty soon here, become available on booth.pm for $40 USD or your original equivalent. Really, the only update between this version and the last version is that the package itself has a few more things in it, namely a decal material, which is meant to be used on particles that has the particle shader already on it, and a couple examples. One of these examples, as you're seeing here, is a decal example, which is just going to already have the settings needed for a decal to function with a couple of custom things. Uh, one of the additional features between this update and the last one is the ability to set a custom size and rotation of the decal per particle. That's set here in custom data. There's a image like last time that tells you what to set up and where it goes. Uh, with that comes the addition of a couple of extra custom vertex streams, but aside from the order, it's really not very difficult to uh, add those. The important thing is that like any other uh, of the times that this has been added, you have to make sure they're in this specific order. Um, in your custom data, it's going to be custom2, which is the only one that should be enabled on the prefab. X here is going to be your size from the center per particle. You'll see it grow or shrink depending on the number here. And Y here, if I set this to a constant, is going to be your rotation around the center of the particle per decal. These can be animated on curves or set random between two constants or curves, just like any other value in a particle system. So you can get these kind of more natural looking decals, adds a little bit more variety to them when they rotate randomly between. That's really all of the new information for this update. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.